from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Features Edition for Monday, May the 27th, 2019. Police in Buenos Aires, Argentina are looking into a recent attack on a Jewish cantor. Cantor Eliyahu Chaman was brutally attacked last weekend after leaving the Mikdash Yosef Jewish Center in the neighborhood of Palermo. Chaman told the Jerusalem Post that a man struck him in the head and yelled anti-Semitic slurs at him. He said that passersby did nothing, and he apparently waited until the end of the Sabbath to report the incident to police. Brandeis University is investigating anti-Israel vandalism at the school. A pro-Israel art display, which was part of Israel Week at the school, created by the university's Hillel chapter, was found to have a sign attached to it that read, Stop lying to young Jews and free Palestine. The school's chapter of If Not Now, which is a Jewish group that is pro-Palestinian, took credit for the sign. Brandeis President Ronald Leibowitz said these acts of vandalism violate the university's recently adopted principles of free expression. He said free speech does not allow one to destroy, deface, or disrupt the free speech or activities of others, including those with whom one disagrees. Leibowitz added that the targeting of Hillel, which is a Jewish organization, could easily lead one to interpret the acts as anti-Semitic. And the university, he said, strongly condemns anti-Semitism. Photos of Holocaust survivors were defaced last week in Austria. Swastikas and other graffiti were drawn on several of the photos, which are part of an exhibit in Vienna. Austrian Chancellor Sebastian Kurz tweeted that he was dismayed by the anti-Semitic defilement and he called for a thorough investigation, saying that anti-Semitism has no place in Austria. And in Sweden, a commitment to do more to fight against anti-Semitism, responding to a letter from the World Jewish Congress, Swedish Prime Minister Stefan Löfven promised to take steps towards banning neo-Nazis in his country and increasing protection of Jewish communities in Sweden. This after recent neo-Nazi marches in the cities of Kungalv and Ludvika. Jewish-British writer and illustrator Judith Kerr has died. Kerr is most known for such beloved children's books as The Tiger Who Came to Tea and When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit, which was inspired by her own experiences when her family fled Nazi Germany as a child. Kerr was awarded the OBE for services to children's literature and for Holocaust education. Kerr died this past Wednesday at her home in London. She was 95. Wounded British military veterans will travel to Israel this week to compete with injured Israeli veterans. Partners and children of the injured personnel will also take part in the five-day veteran games taking place in both Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. The initiative will include a conference on PTSD and mental health and is the initiative of the organization Beit HaLochem of the UK and the Embassy of Israel in London, with support from leading rehabilitation organizations. Chief Executive of the Royal Marines Charity, Jonathan Ball, said shared experiences from military veterans are a strong source of physical and mental healing, even more so across differing nationalities who are battling identical challenges. While the Tel Aviv International Documentary Film Festival is underway this week, Doc Aviv features 130 films whose subject matter includes skateboarders and surfers, mothers, politicians, dancers, musicians, nature and space, among many others. Local directors have a lot at stake in the Israeli competition portion and the short competition, as the winners of those are eligible for nomination to the Academy Awards. Doc Aviv runs through June the 1st at the Tel Aviv Cinematheque. And that's the JBS News Features Edition. I'm Tisha Bader. I will be back with the regular JBS News update tomorrow, Tuesday, wishing you a meaningful and safe Memorial Day.